how to create a website using wordpress for beginners hey guys welcome back to the youtube channel in this video i'm going to be showing you how to create a website using wordpress for free so let's get into it now you might be wondering wordpress.org is a paid kind of feature it's an open software that you can use but how do you really use wordpress to create a website as a beginner well wordpress is a very powerful tool and if you want to use wordpress i would recommend that you use wordpress using pantheon so you can implement all of the wordpress tools tools on Pantheon and then you can use it from there. So what you're going to do is you're going to go on to Pantheon.io and then I'm just going to click on sign in with Google and I'm going to sign in with my Google account over here. So once you have logged on to your Pantheon account, this is going to be your basic dashboard. So uh, you can try out the new dashboard as well. Now what you're going to do is you're going to click on create new site over here and you're going to begin creating your site and then you're going to apply WordPress over here. So you're just going to click on create new sites and this will open up a new dashboard for you now we are just going to wait for our dashboard to load up and then what you're going to do is you can add the name for your website so let's say i want to name this um and now i'm going to continue over here and i'm going to start with my web design so i'm just going to let pantheon get my url site and the region for my site storage and then I'm going to later on apply WordPress onto the website. So we're just going to wait a couple of seconds. Now you can see over here, Pantheon is directly going to ask you what kind of CMS you want. And you're just going to click on deploy WordPress. And you're going to basically deploy WordPress onto your Pantheon site to get started with designing your website. So this is how easy it is to get WordPress for free. You don't have to download anything or uh, any other third party software. You can use WordPress online with Pantheon. And this is the greatest part about WordPress and Pantheon. Pantheon's combination is that you get all of the power and tools of WordPress for free. So this is something I find to be especially helpful when you're using Pantheon and WordPress. So this might take a couple of seconds for you to actually deploy at WordPress. So we're just going to wait until this is deployed. Now, once your WordPress uh, has been deployed onto your Pantheon website, you're just going to click on visit your Pantheon site dashboard, and then you can get started with designing your actual website using WordPress. So we're just going to head on over to our dashboard. You're going to have two dashboards. So one is going to be a WordPress dashboard and one is going to be your Pantheon dashboard. The main one is basically going to be the Pantheon one because you're going to be working from there. And then you can have your WordPress dashboard to actually edit and upgrade your website. So so once you have done that, what you can do is you can click on visit development site. And then what you can do is you can also obviously apply some website. So what you can see, I just clicked on visit development site. Now what you're going to do is you're going to select your language. We're going to continue with English. And now you're going to add your personal information. So you're going to add the site title, which I want to be fashion 360. And then I'm going to add a username. I'm going to hide up my password, so I'm just going to add my own password and then I'm going to add my email and I'm going to click on install WordPress to actually begin the editing system of my website. Now I'm just going to click on login over here. I'm just going to add my username and my password and I'm going to begin with editing my WordPress site. So you can see this is my WordPress dashboard for my website. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on customize your site. And now I can use a template or I can get started from scratch with designing my website. Now, if you want to simplify your work, you can definitely choose a template. For that, what you're going to do is you're just going to go back. Now you can see this theme has already been applied according to my name. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and if you want to choose another theme, you can choose your theme from here. So you're just going to click on change your theme completely and then you can choose another one of the many themes that are available. So you can see that you have your site identity or you can just click on browse themes. So you can tab your install themes and then you have your wordpress.org themes. You can choose anyone you want and you can also search for a specific kind of theme that you want. Now I want to go and I'm going to search for the wordpress.org themes and I think I'm going to use this theme so I'm just going to click on live preview and I'm just going to preview this theme and select it. So you can see now I have applied this theme. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select the theme 
I'm going to click on customize. Now I'm going to begin with customizing the theme that I am using for my WordPress site. So to customize anything, you're just going to click on it or you can go on to the left navigation panel over here to change and customize or you can click on any item directly if you want to switch it up as well. So if I go on to site identity, I can write some information over here, the fashion forward blog and then I can go back, I can add, change up the colors. So maybe I want the site title color to be in a pink because I really like pink. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to change up the background color like this. And then I'm going to change up the background image and I can choose one from the media library or upload my own files. I can click on select files over here and upload my own files like so. So I'm just going to upload my own file for my background and you can obviously you're going to customize each and everything according to your own website. So I'm just customizing my background and what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to add this over here and I'm going to fit it to the screen. I'm going to go back and now I'm going to change up the menus. So if I go into my primary menu, I have my home page or I have my about page and a blog page. So I'm just going to add some more items. Maybe I'm going to add our socials. So you can add another menu page like so. And then you can link your page to there as well. And if you want to add some widgets to your website as well, you can click over here on widgets and then you can add and choose a widget in a specific area. So if you want a footer widget area, you can add that. I'm just going to click on edit and you're going to add block. And then you can click on gallery and you can browse over here like this. And once you have customized everything, you're just going to click on activate and publish. And you don't have to pay to publish your website at all. And if you actually use the WordPress deployer for WordPress, the WordPress.com deployer, you're going to have to pay to publish. But using Pantheon, you're not going to have to pay at all for using WordPress. And now my website is live. So if I go back onto my basic dashboard and I open up my website. So I'm just going to refresh my dashboard, my Pantheon dashboard, and I'm going to take a look at what my website is looking like currently so i'm just going to go on to statuses just to see my overall website level so i'm going to open this up and you can see over here my website is looking pretty good obviously i have logged on as the administrator so it is giving me this toolbar on the top but if someone is not an administrator, this is what the website is going to look like for them. And you can begin editing right from here to customize your website using WordPress. And this is why I love using the combination of WordPress because it really gives you a great upper hand on how to customize your website. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to design your own website using WordPress. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And I will catch you guys in the next video.